MindMap provides a comprehensive overview of Kubernetes pods, covering their characteristics, components, lifecycle, use cases, management, and advanced features. Here's an explanation of each section. Hasher 1. Characteristics. Smallest deployable unit. A pod is the smallest unit in Kubernetes that can be deployed and managed. It encapsulates one or more containers that share resources. Runs one or more containers. While a pod can run a single container, it can also host multiple containers that work together, sharing the same network and storage. Shared network and storage. All containers within a pod share the same IP address and network namespace, allowing them to communicate with each other via local host. They also share any mounted storage volumes. Two, components, containers, the actual running instances of applications or services. Each container runs its own process, but shares resources defined by the pod. Shared volumes, storage that is accessible to all containers within the pod. It allows containers to share data. Network namespace provides a unique network environment for the pod, including its IP address. All containers in the pod share the same network namespace. Pod annotations and labels. Metadata used for organization, configuration, and management. Labels can be used for selecting and grouping pods, while annotations provide additional details. Three, lifecycle, pending. The pod has been accepted by the Kubernetes system, but one or more of its containers are not yet running. Running, the pod has been bound to a node and all containers are running as expected. Succeeded, all containers in the pod have successfully completed their execution and terminated. Failed, at least one container has terminated unsuccessfully. Crash loop backoff indicates that a container is failing repeatedly due to an issue with the application or configuration. Four, use cases. Single container pod, commonly used to run a standalone application or service. Multi-container pod, useful for running multiple containers that need to work closely together, such as sidecar pattern, an auxiliary container that helps the main container, e.g. a logging or monitoring agent. Ambassador pattern, acts as a proxy to the main container, handling network requests. Adapter pattern, transforms data between containers. Init containers, special containers that run before the main application containers start. They can perform setup tasks, such as initializing files or loading configuration. Management. Creating pods. Pods can be created using commands like kubectl apply or kubectl create based on YAML configuration files. Updating pods. Rolling updates replace pods without downtime, while directly replacing pods can cause some disruption. Deleting pods. Use kubectl delete to terminate a pod. Kubernetes may automatically restart pods based on their configurations. Monitoring and troubleshooting. Use commands like kubectl logs to view container logs and kubectl exec to run commands within the container. Six, advanced features. Pod disruption budgets, PDBs. Specify how many pods can be unavailable during maintenance, such as updates or node scaling. Affinity and anti-affinity. Control which nodes or zones a pod can run in or ensure that certain pods run together or separately. Tolerations and node selectors. Allow pods to run on specific nodes that may have certain conditions or specify particular nodes for pod placement. <sighs> Summary. The mind map provides an in-depth view of Kubernetes pods, including their foundational characteristics, components, and how they are managed. It also covers more advanced features that help with controlling pod placement and ensuring resilience during updates. Kubernetes pods are fundamental to container orchestration, allowing users to deploy and manage applications efficiently in a cluster.